Interview 1903-1. Interviewed, Mr. A. Donner. Interviewer, Agent Crowley. Forward, Mr. A. Donner was met in his office for questioning. Agent Crowley was under the guise of a private investigator. Donner was given a cover story stating that SCP-1903 died of blood loss. Begin log. February 24th, 1940 blank, 2450. Crowley. Mr. Donner? Private investigator, I have a few questions. May I have a word? Donner. God damn it, I thought you were all done. Fine, fine, but make it quick. This is bad for business. Crowley. Thanks. Uh, how well did you know Jackie? Donner. Not well, she was one of the skirts, that's it. I haven't heard a single complaint about her till all this shit started. Crowley. Pause. Do you know anything about her? Donner. Uh, no, not really. I made sure she didn't steal anything and that she didn't sneak out while on the job. Mainly, though, I made sure she kept her mouth shut. Uh, what's her name clearly didn't get the message. Crowley. Jackie. Donner. Oh, yeah. Crowley. What exactly do your employees do? Donner. I don't know. Crowley. Do you really expect me to believe that, Donner? You own the fucking business. Donner. Let me re-clarify. I don't want to know. Our clients are typically important people, which means they're usually overworked. When they're all work and no play, they can get rather depraved for a good time. They can't really keep a low profile when it comes to who they are, so I give them the means to conceal their identity. Hence the theme. <sighs> It might help you if you go bug AF about this. He hasn't been around since. And there was always something off about him. Crowley. <sighs> AF? Donner. Yeah, him. He always looked like he was expecting something. He managed the chemical plant a few blocks from here. Had a wife, high income job, no real criminal record. He was a regular, but he always brought about three or four friends with him. Different people each time. Don't ask who they are, because I don't know. I couldn't get any information about any of them. Maybe they used aliases for that one time and never came back. Maybe they've been living off the record. Maybe both. Either way, I know shit about them. Crowley. Anything else? Donner. Afraid not. They've spent more time here than usual, I guess. Maybe an hour each visit. And their requests were the same. The, and I quote, woman dressed in white. Jackie was their preferred handler. Oh, and the prick's wife came around here sticking her nose where it don't belong. Crowley. F's wife contacted you. Donner. Yeah, the bitch came around here looking for information. She must have been suspicious and followed him here. I sent her away, but she must have got to Jackie after hours. Was probably given some sob story about how her husband's cheating on her or something, and Jackie told her. All I know is that Jackie didn't come in the next day. Interview 1903-2 Interviewed Dr. Hayward Interviewer Dr. Crot Forward Prior to event-1903-3 Dr. Hayward reported SCP-1903's abnormal behavior. Dr. Hayward gave orders to R.A. Jennings to write revisions 1 and 2. Jennings suffered advanced stages of affliction and committed suicide three days later. Begin log. March 7th, 1940 blank. 1230. Dr. Crot. So, how are you feeling? Dr. Hayward. Fine, I guess. I feel bad about Jennings. He wouldn't have written the report and sent it out to everyone if I hadn't told him to. No one on the team knew the whole story at the time, just fragments. Dr. Crot. You were just doing your job. If he hadn't written it, someone else would have. Dr. Hayward. <sighs> I guess you're right. Someone had to do it, I suppose. If not him, then Martin or Tammy. Listen, I appreciate the sympathy. Really, I do, but I'm sure you have questions. Let's just get them over with. Dr. Crot. Pauses. <sighs> How did you feel after exposure? Dr. Hayward. I felt fine at first. After a couple of hours, the affected area started to feel irritated, though. I didn't think much of it till the second day. By then, it felt more like a bad sunburn and my face was peeling off. The testing for mercury wasn't much fun either. Still kind of hurts when you touch it. Dr. Crot. Alright, we can provide you some painkillers if it help. Would you mind detailing your report? You said that SCP-1903 attempted to communicate with you. Dr. Hayward. Right, I was in the observatory reading revision 2. By the time I finished, I saw SCP-1903 staring at me from across the cell through the observatory window. I didn't even notice her move, made me jump. She didn't say anything, but she shushed me. I pressed the button for a photograph and tried to talk to her through the intercom, but when I did, she just sat back down on her cot. My guess is that she realized I was reading her file, and then tried to warn me not to tell anyone, but that's all that is, I guess. Dr. Crot. Thank you. Anything else you want to report? Dr. Hayward. 
No, I... Actually, yes. I don't know if any of the others have been seeing this, but occasionally I get these flashes, Dr. Crot. Flashes? When did you start seeing them? How frequent? Dr. Hayward. Actually, that's probably not the right term. Short-term hallucinations? I started seeing them last night around the time I noticed that the mask finished growing. I don't feel dizzy or anything when they happen. Sometimes I don't even notice them happening because I'm focused on something, but sometimes, maybe like once every couple of hours, people kind of change clothes. I can tell it's the same person, but they're either wearing a white tux or a white evening gown. Classy, if a bit revealing. Dr. Crot. Pause. How revealing? Dr. Hayward. Oh, um quickly murmurs. The dress has a lot of cleavage in the entire back shadows, but the shirt kind of reminds me of a wedding dress. Dr. Crot. You didn't. Dr. Hayward. No! Yes, I didn't. I'm sorry I looked away when I noticed it. I'm not a pervert, and that's not what I'm getting at here. People have also been wearing the masks. Dr. Crot. Wait, you mean like yours? Dr. Hayward. No, more like the ones in storage, the ones we got from Donner's. If there's enough people around, it kind of looks like a masquerade, except everyone just turns their heads to face me. Even if their necks should have snapped, they just kind of stare at me. Dr. Crot. How long do these hallucinations last? Dr. Hayward. I don't know, maybe around 10, 20 seconds? Dr. Crot. When this happens, is this all you see? Dr. Hayward. Well, sometimes there's this man leaning against the wall. He looks at me too, but I don't know, he just kind of glares at me like he expects me to be doing something. He's not wearing a mask, brown suit, so he kind of sticks out. I should be able to know what his face looks like, I know that expression too well, but I always seem to forget it when I try to imagine it. I think it might be Donner. End log. Closing statement. Dr. Hayward's testimony has matched those of other SCP-1903 personnel, who have similarly hypothesized that Mr. A. Donner was a part of this shared hallucination. Further investigation into SCP-1903's behavior has shown that it is experiencing hallucinations as well. Research into whether SCP-1903 is experiencing the same hallucinations, or at different intervals than SCP-1903 personnel, is ongoing.